LG Chem, ResU 10, Tesla Powerwall 2. If you're considering either of these solar plus storage options to protect your home from a loss of the power grid, then you're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to explain to you what you need to know about these two products and how they compare head to head for your home backup power needs. Hi everyone. Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years I've been helping families get their household set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And oftentimes part of that strategy is a renewable energy solar plus battery backup system so that whether it's day or night you can rest assured that your home is never going to be without electricity. Now I'm excited to be coming back to you today guys with another head-to-head -head comparison video. We're going to be looking at what is probably the two most popular residential battery backup products on the market today. The LG Chem ResU 10 and the Tesla Powerwall 2. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, on this channel we talk about all things related to emergency preparedness, particularly energy preparedness and what we can do to make sure that your home is set up to survive a loss of the power grid. So usually we're doing solar power, we're doing battery backup, and sometimes we're even integrating a fuel burning generator as a third level backup to protect your home. So if you're you know, really seriously preparing to survive a prolonged grid down event, you can make sure that we keep the lights on to, to power all the home's critical systems. Now, before I jump into the comparison, I'd actually like to give a little bit of background uh, on these two products because uh, the LG Chem battery really was the first uh, wide distribution lithium ion home backup battery available. Uh, and I was actually one of the first guys selling them on the East Coast going back as far as 2017 when they first rolled out their first uh, version of the product. Now, one thing I should also mention about the LG battery is that the LG battery really is just a battery system. Whereas the Tesla Powerwall is an integrated battery and backup power appliance. So inside the Powerwall, not only do you have the battery storage cell, but you also have uh, an integrated inverter so that this Powerwall by itself can produce its own sine wave, its own signal to electrify uh, an AC circuit breaker panel. The LG battery cannot. The LG battery has to be paired with a battery hybrid inverter like the Solar Edge Store Edge product uh, or the SMA Sunny Boy Storage. We'll talk more about that as we get more into the comparison. So when this whole idea of having a lithium ion uh, battery pack for your house or having a, like an, an electric vehicle type of backup battery pack for your house, LG really made it first to market for nationwide distribution in the US. Uh, and although it was an exciting capability to offer, there were a lot of bugs in the first generation of the battery. Not so much in the physical battery itself, but especially what we were seeing was little software incompatibilities between the, the firmware and the battery and then the firmware in the inverter that it, it was paired with. Again, that would be the, the Solar Edge Store Edge uh, or the Sunny Boy Storage Inverter. And since it was two separate manufacturers controlling those two products, Oftentimes we got into a lot of these situations where the battery would fail to perform and then we would have this finger pointing back and forth between the battery manufacturer and the inverter manufacturer as to whose fault it was that the system wasn't functioning. All the while we had uh, unsatisfied homeowners that were you know, demanding and, and requiring a functional battery solution. So one thing I will tell you in my personal experience is LG does tend to jump the gun to, to be first to market, sometimes at the expense of quality assurance. Now Tesla, as I mentioned in my previous video, Tesla released more of its version 1.0 battery, the Tesla Powerwall 1, uh, in the international markets. And so they had a chance to work out a lot of the, the bugs and kinks in Powerwall 1 uh, in international markets like Australia. Uh, in fact, I've never even seen here on the East Coast a Tesla Powerwall 1, which is their high voltage DC type battery. What we're seeing much, much more of now that it's finally a nationwide rollout is the Tesla Powerwall 2. However, uh, even the Tesla Powerwall rollout has not been without its problems. Uh, those of you that follow Tesla probably know that uh, one of the things that this company is great at is selling and building demand for the product 
before the actual manufacturing capacity is in place to deliver on that demand. Uh, and we've seen that recently with the Tesla Powerwall too. Uh, as of this recording, I hate to say it, but you know the truth is as of this recording today, I have some clients on the East Coast that have waited up to seven, eight months to receive their Tesla Powerwall because again, Tesla tends to get ahead of themselves in terms of sales and marketing. They don't necessarily have the capacity to deliver. So anyway, just figured I'd give you some background on that. Uh, let's talk next about what these two battery products have in common. Uh, and the first is that they are stackable, meaning that you can parallel connect multiple battery units together. Now, the way they stack is a little bit different because as I mentioned earlier, the, the LG battery is really just a, a, a modular battery. So when you stack an additional battery, you're basically just increasing the energy storage capacity. Uh, of the system. Whereas when you stack multiple power wall units, you're increasing the power output of the inverters inside those batteries and you're increasing the battery capacity as well. But they are both stackable so you can expand your capacity as your needs increase. Both batteries can be used for both the emergency backup power application, which is what most of our clients here at Solar Surge, we're looking at the battery as a way that you can protect from a loss of the electric grid so you have secure power day or night. But I know that many of you watching this video are also in markets where you have time of use metering, meaning that you can use the battery to help you avoid having to purchase uh, peak power during those high usage rates, which is typically between, uh, I believe, 4 and 9 p.m. on the West Coast. And so what you can do is drain your battery during those peak hours and then recharge the battery during the middle of the night when you've got the off-peak rate, when the electricity price is much cheaper. So both batteries can be used in both of those applications. And in terms of chemistry, they are both using the lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, or lithium NMC chemistry. This is the most popular chemistry for those of you that have electric vehicles out there. And then finally, uh, of course, both products do offer the online monitoring either via the web platform or via the smartphone app. Most people these days just use the smartphone app, but both of these products provide that capability. All right, so let's jump into the evaluation. Now we're gonna be doing the evaluation in five categories with a maximum of five points per category with a giving a maximum total score of 25 points. Those categories are power, including both continuous power and peak surge power, we're gonna be looking at energy storage capacity, uh, also the warranty on the product, the length of the warranty and the, the terms of the warranty. Looking at the cost of the product, of course. And then finally, what I call the X factor. Uh, and the X factor is a way that we can, uh, we can award up to five additional points for any unique design features of the product. There, there might not be a clean one-for-one -one comparison between the two, but for unique features that could have a tremendous benefit for you as a system owner. All right, so let's start with the LG battery. The LG battery has a continuous power rating of five kilowatts with surge power up to seven kilowatts. So for most people that are using this as a residential backup solution, uh, that's gonna be more than adequate to run your home's critical systems you know, even for some rural customers, if you had to run a well pump on a power budget like that, you can still get away with it in most cases. Now, in some cases, if you have a very high powered well pump that has a very high startup surge, you may want to install a soft start device on the well pump circuit. But in most cases, all of the home's critical systems, including water pumps, can be run on a single resu unit. In terms of energy storage capacity, we're looking at total capacity of 9.8 kilowatt hours with the Resu 10, but usable capacity is only 9.3 kilowatt hours. So as part of the battery management system, the software will actually shut the battery off or it will prevent it from discharging to loads once the battery falls below a certain threshold to, to prevent it from just draining out completely and shutting down. So 9.3 kilowatt hours usable energy here with the Resu 10. In terms of the warranty, we're looking at a 10-year warranty, which is kind of right in line with all the top tier battery products out there. Um, however, at the end of the warranty term, LG is only guaranteeing 60% of the original storage capacity in year 10. So it's a 10 years with a 60% uh, 
performance rating in year 10. In terms of the cost of the product, the LG Chem battery, when you pair it with a Solar Edge storage inverter, is actually the lowest cost uh, professionally installed battery backup that's available out there on the market. So uh, the, the, the product does score very well in this category. If you just need a low cost, critical need systems only home backup solution, the LG Chem Resu is a solution that can provide that uh, for you. And then in terms of X-Factor, um, I hate to say I don't really have any X-Factor points to award to the, um, the Resu 10 battery. I think it's, it's available now, it's available in wide distribution, and it's cheap. It's the cheapest lithium ion based professionally installed with a warranty home backup battery that you're going to find. All right, now let's, let's like take a look at the uh, Tesla Powerwall. Now the Tesla Powerwall comes in with a continuous power rating of 5 kilowatts with surge power up to 7 kilowatts. So we're pretty much apples to apples here. However, there is one slight difference that you need to be aware of. When the Resu 10 paired with a uh, a solar edge storage inverter, when it's running in backup power mode, meaning it's pulling all the power from the battery, assuming there's no solar coming in, it actually has a lower power rating at 3300 watts as opposed to the full 5000, whereas the Tesla Powerwall can provide that full 5000 watts whether the sun is shining or not, even if it had to pull it fully from the battery. So although the numbers look the same on the surface, the Tesla actually has the slight advantage on the power rating because it can provide full power from a single battery cell, even if there's no solar supporting it. The Tesla Powerwall also has the advantage with total usable energy storage capacity of 13 and a half kilowatt hours. So it's more than 35% higher usable energy storage capacity with the Tesla Powerwall battery. Uh, in terms of the warranty, the Powerwall also has sort of that, that industry standard now 10-year warranty, although Tesla gives you an extra 10% performance guarantee at the end of life. So you're looking at a 70% capacity guarantee with the Powerwall uh, versus just the 60% guarantee with the Resu 10. Now in terms of cost, the Powerwall is a slightly higher priced product. But remember, when you're looking at the Powerwall, it's not just a battery. It's a battery with an integrated inverter, battery management system, and a water cooling system, which is part of why it's able to offer a longer service life. So you do get a lot more capability in this battery for that higher cost. And then in terms of the X Factor, I'm gonna give the Powerwall plus two X Factor points. One, just for the kind of the, the, the sleekness and the compactness of the design, being able to integrate those four functions into one appliance. But then also an additional point for those of you who are Tesla vehicle owners, and you already have the Tesla app, you'll be able to manage your solar, your battery, your vehicle charging, everything on a single platform. So I know a lot of you Tesla owners out there, you really like having that single platform uh, capability. All right, so let's do a summary comparison here. For both the Powerwall and the Resu 10, we're looking at five kilowatts continuous power, seven kilowatts peak power. But again, as I said, if you're running with the Resu system, and it's nighttime, so you're limited to pulling from the battery only, this five kilowatts drops to 3.3 kilowatts. Uh, in terms of capacity, close to 10 kilowatt hours with the Resu 10, it's actually nine and some change, uh, whereas you have 13 and a half usable kilowatt hours with the Powerwall 2. So definitely advantage here. Both have a 10 year warranty, although you're looking at 60% capacity in year 10 with the Resu 10 versus 70% guaranteed capacity with the Powerwall. The Resu 10 is cheaper, and uh, in terms of the X Factor, I didn't really see anything that warranted additional points, in my opinion, with the Resu battery, but I did give plus two X Factor points to the Powerwall for the integrated design and the integrated Tesla app monitoring platform. So if we tally it up, uh, we'll give the Resu 10 three out of five points for power, three out of five for capacity, four out of five for warranty, since at the end of warranty, we're looking at slightly reduced power rating, um, five out of five for cost, as it is the absolute lowest cost lithium ion residential battery backup available, and uh, no additional X-Factor points. So we're looking at a total of 15 points for the Resu 10, 
And then for, for the power wall, we're giving it four out of five for power and four out of five for capacity since we have some slight advantage there. Five out of five for the warranty since you do have that additional 10% capacity guarantee at the end of the warranty life. Four out of five for cost because there's a little bit slightly higher cost and then plus two X factor points for those features that I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna declare the winner for this one, Tesla Powerwall 2. Now, that is assuming that we can get the batteries because each of these two products, as we've discussed before, each of these two products have issues. In terms of Tesla, right now the main issue is that so many people want them that they just don't have the manufacturing capacity to keep up and they've had to kind of trade off between building more power walls or building more Tesla vehicles. So I believe that in time, Tesla is going to work through those issues and be able to increase uh, capacity, production capacity to meet the demand. In the case of the Resu battery, they have issues too. But like I said, I think their issue is more getting to, getting to market with the product perhaps before they should have to take some more time to work out the bugs and the quality control. In fact, as I was preparing to do today's recording, I visited the uh, LG website. And one of the first things I saw was a notice that the batteries, some batteries had been recalled. When you click on the detail here to learn more, it mentions that the home batteries can overheat, posing a risk of fire and emission of harmful smoke. Now look guys, when I, when I had planned to do today's video, I didn't, wasn't aware of any of this, all right? And I was not intending to come out here and bash the LG product. You know, like I said, I, I've installed, you know, dozens and dozens of these products, you know, in the past. And I do think it is a very solid, low cost uh, option if you just need critical home backup uh, at an affordable, competitive price. But as I've mentioned, and I think this is kind of an ongoing trend with LG, is they've rushed too quickly to market with their product didn't take the appropriate time to work all the bugs out. Now that doesn't mean that today's product isn't great, but back in 2017 and 2018, when we first started delivering these to homeowners, I can tell you that there were a lot of glitches. I never experienced this fire or smoke, but I did see a lot of uh, firmware issues where the battery and the inverter were not talking together properly. And so the battery just you know, basically bricked itself. It just didn't, didn't do anything. And as you can imagine, there were a lot of disappointed homeowners out there. So I hope by this time LG has had a chance to work the issues out, but uh, we will continue to track it closely and we'll do our best to keep you updated with how we see the current status of the residential solar plus storage market. So folks, this has been the head-to-head -head comparison of the LG Resu 10 and the Tesla Powerwall 2 home batteries. And you know, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we put on the channel here, please be sure to click on that like button and click on that subscribe button. You know, those things, I know I say it all the time, but it really helps us out because there's so many videos on YouTube now, unless the YouTube algorithm sees people clicking and commenting and sharing the video, they may not show this video so that everybody can see it. And of course, we wanna get this information out there for everybody who's looking at you know, the best ways to get solar with home battery backup. Also, I wanna let you guys know that we now have partners in 31 states and Puerto Rico. So if you're interested in looking at either of these backup solutions for your house, or you'd like to see maybe what other battery backup and solar options are available in your area, be sure you can visit us on the website. There'll be a link right below, or you can reach out to us or even just send in a comment to this video and we can schedule a time. We'll get on a short video conference with you, understand what your needs and goals are, and then we can put together an estimate for you. There's absolutely no cost and no obligation for this service. Well, folks, thanks again for tuning in to today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.